Build and destroy. Seems apt for... Uh, Seems apt. Hello, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Welcome to Lotus Bloom Gaming with me, Lotus, and Rich. Hi. And we've got a pre-release kit from the streets of New Capenna, because it's Friday, it's pre-release day, um, so we're going to dive into it. These are like the Strix he Strix Haven um, classes where you have the factions. So you've got Obscura, uh, Maestros, Riveteers, Cabaretti, and the Brokers. But Richard, being Richard, um, chose the Riveteers because of the Jundamout. Well, Jundamout, but also the Mythic Dragon Dine uh, Dragon Demon. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Big dragon dude. So we thought it was the most likely to get. They've reduced the plastic, so we just have this nice little pull tab now. Nice. Yeah, plastic was always messy. Oh. You've got build and destroy. Ooh. Build and destroy. Seems apt for. Uh, Seems apt. For Ooh. Oh, oh, we, we 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 have we have tokens, little counters. Plus one, and then... We've got plus one, and... I ah, the shield. Shield, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Um, and you've got these. Dividers kind of things? I don't know what they are. Maybe you can show off your thing and put your life counter on it. I don't Maybe. Know. Or a little pool of cards. Uh, there you go. Let's move that to one side. Okay. What have you found? Oh, I ripped it. You've ripped it. Okay. <laughs> On the inside, there's a, there's a, there's a. Let's see if we can. There's a ring. There's a boxing ring. Look, a... he ripped it. It's <laughs> a boxing ring. With a chest of gold falling out. Ah. Oh yeah, it's got a little treasure. Um, this is the thing that you want to pull. So we did choose the right one for you. Yeah. So let's open up the River Tears. Uh, it's a. Nice little white dice. What number? Uh, top. I'm going to go three. Ah, oh, 17. <laughs> okay. Would you take that for me? I guess so. There's the divider. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's a pre-release code there for you. Unfortunately, I think it's first come, first serve. So, uh, so this would be your... Uh, Faction specific pack. Faction boosty. Yeah, which is in wax paper instead of plastic, which I actually quite like these. Well, I, they should do it for all of them. I think they should do it for all. What do you guys think? Uh, okay, so we have mast raccoons. We have raccoons. Raccoon rogue. Um, Vigilance menace. You can exile it from your hand and target land gains jund. Uh, and then you can cast it for its bigger cost later in the game, yeah. which is really cool. Does it keep the land keep the jund? No, uh, so as long as it remains exiled. Ah, I see. Oh no, exile it from your hand, target land gains until is cast from exile. Yes, until cast from ah, exile. Ah, I see. Yeah, uh, we've got the new sack land fetches. Uh, new pauper cards for drawing cards. That's good. That's really nice. The Scarab. Nice. Yeah, Treasure Token 2 1. We have a Jewel Thief. Yeah. Apparently, I watched um, one of the Good Morning Magics and Cat Burglar was already taken and oh. as another magic card, so we got Jewel Thief. That's sad. Chrome Cat. That's pretty. That's not bad. Antagonize. Plus 4, plus 3, 2. That's not bad. Yeah. Uh, Gerdagoons, yeah. when it dies, make a 2-2. Two -two. It's not bad. Strangle. Strangle deals 3 damage. Just print Bolt, you cowards. <laughs> Just print Bolt. <laughs> uh, big score. 3 and a red, instant. As additional cost, discard a card. Draw 2, create 2 treasure. That's good. That's bad. That's not bad. Riveteers Requisitioner. I was about to say these are all blue and uh, sorry, red and black, and I realised it's, yeah, it's yeah. our theme. It's a theme boost. Yeah. <laughs> a stimulus package. 
two red green when it enters make two treasures sacrifice a treasure make a one one green and white citizen okay. so if you've got excess treasures like um smothering tithe, smothering tithe yeah or prosper or something it won't go in prosper but that sort of thing you know Ooh, mr orfeo the boulder mm -hmm. one and jund rhino warrior whenever you attack double target creatures power until end of turn that's good. It's not bad. Ooh, your rare is Zytora's Envoy. One and Jund for a trample 5-4. When it deals combat damage to a player, look at the top card of your library. You may play a land from the top of your library or cast a spell with mana value less than or equal to the damage dealt from the top of your library without paying its mana cost. If you don't, put that card into your hand. That's pretty decent. Seems good. Yeah, and your promo is Park Heights Pegasus. Well, I assume that the promo is not much. No. I think the promo is a random card. Uh, but when it deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. If you had two or more creatures, enter the battlefield under your control this turn. And you've got a treasure and a rogue. Okay, so we have our promo and our first rare. Let's move these to here. Okay, make sure it's focusing on me. Ominous parcel. Okay. Okay. Keep going. Okay. For the family, single green instant. Target creature gets plus two, plus two until like end that. of turn. If you control four or more creatures, that creature gets plus four, plus four instead. I like that. Ooh. That's pretty good. Oh, this is nice. The Art Deco. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Uh, oh, an angel. Two and a white flying. When it oh, enters, that's... gain a life, draw a card. Yeah, that's good. That's pretty decent for him. <clears throat> Scuttling Butler. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if you control two or more multicoloured permanents, Butler gains double strike until end of turn. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Four, one for three, it's not bad. Yeah. Oh, Pious Sea Ledge Arsonist. Two and a red for a Vishino Shaman. Two, two. Pay one tap. It deals X damage to any target where X is the number of permanents you sacrifice this turn. All the Vishnus are like, deal damage. Yeah, the, um, the one from Dominaria did like two when it entered, didn't it? And the one that. Oh. They got the Pegasus. You got then. another Pegasus. <laughs> oh, look at that plane. Oh, that's pretty. And a treasure with. Maestros, um, crime is an art form. So we'll, we'll track that, because I think that's good. So uh, who will you be picking uh, on pre-release? I think I'm going to be going for River Tears as well, to be honest. You're going to go Jund? I'm going to go Jund, I think. Or at least for the first one. Um, Games Lifelink, yeah. okay. Flying Death Touch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When it enters, put a plus one counter on target creature. Not bad, not bad. There's the Jund one. Prize fight. Look at the little raccoon beating up that giant rhino. <laughs> giant rhino. That gives me Zootopia vibes. Yeah. Uh, two mana, one and a green. Uh, target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. Create a treasure token. Yeah, that's good. That's pretty decent. Uh... Whack. A whack. Yeah, three and a black. Targets white creature. A white creature costs three less to cast if it targets it, and it gets minus four, minus four. It's good. It's just business. You understand. <laughs> uh, target creature gets plus X, plus X until end of turn. Create a citizen. That's good. And off... I still don't know about this one. I think it'll be good. Like... It'll, it, see, it'll see play. Yeah, I hope... I, I'm... One mana count spell. Non creature spells, yeah, it's gonna get play. Mm. Black market tycoon, uh, two one green, one red for a cat rogue, two two. At the beginning of upkeep, black market tycoon deals two damage to you for each cre uh, each treasure you control, and then you create a treasure token. And you've got a foil gold hound, nice, yeah. Oh, and you've got. Oh, the tokens. They are shield counters. Yeah. That's not bad. 
so that's their foil rare. Come on, triumph. Oh, the triumphs are in here as well, aren't they? Okay, Scarab, Scarab Backstreet Bruiser. Um, there's another one of the Saplands. Pretty good. Ooh. Oh, there's two of those now. That's that's nice. I do like the art deck. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, three mana flash, enchant creature, it gets plus two, plus one. When it dies, create two treasure tokens. Nice. That's not bad for a common. Yeah. They've really juiced up the commons. Oh, it's Pauper. Oh. I mean, Pauper's doing really well. I love Pauper. Oh, you've got a Maestro Charm. Nice. Yeah. Grixis, instant. Look at the top five cards of your library. Put one of those into your hand, the rest into your graveyard. Or each opponent loses three life, you gain three life. Or it deals five damage to target creature or planeswalker. Nice. Yeah. Uh, whenever you attack with one or more creatures with counters on them, draw a card. Nice. That's pretty decent. Ooh. Cabaretti Ascendancy. Green, red. Sorry, red, green, white. Nice. Uh, enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. If it's a creature or planeswalker, you may reveal it, put it into your hand. If you don't, put the card into your hand, you may put it in the bottom of your library. So you look at the top card, you reveal it, and you draw another card, or...? No, 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 it's in your upkeep. So you either draw the revealed card, or if you don't, you put it on the bottom. Ah, I see. That's really pretty. Oh, oh that was our rare. <laughs> <laughs> Rhino Warrior. With a... That's like a fucking... It's a sewer lid. It is a sewer lid, isn't it? Yeah, it's a sewer lid. It reminds me of... Um... Yeah, what was his name? Oh. Oh, I can't remember the rhino's name in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Grab a look at the Oh, um, not Bruiser, Bowser, no. No, look it up. Look it up. It's going to really bug me now. <coughs> While he's doing that, let's carry on. <laughs> We'll extract the truth. Uh, big score, three and a red. At an additional cost, discard a card, draw two, create two treasures. For the family. Ah, here we uh, go. Rocksteady. Rocksteady, there we go. And Bebop. Be 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 Bebop and Rocksteady, yeah. That was it. <clears throat> uh, two blue, black. For a Vampire Wizard 3-3, three, three. as long as there are five or more mana values among cards in your graveyard, it gets plus two, plus two. Okay. Knockout Blow. Costs two less if you target a red creature. Deals four damage to target attacking or blocking and you gain two life. Okay. Sizzling Soloist. Three and a red. Three, two. Uh, whenever another creature enters a battlefield under your control, target creature and opponent controls can't block this turn. If this is the second time this ability has resolved this turn, that creature attacks during its controller's next combat phase if able. Okay, goading stuff. Ooh, wire tapping. Hide away five. Whenever you draw your first card during each of your turns, uh, draw steps, draw a card. Then if you have nine or more cards in your hand, you may play the exiled card without paying its mana cost. That's cool. Okay. And we have a treasure. Final pack needs to be magic. Is there planes will be in this set? Yes. You've got Elspeth, you've got Obnixilus. Oh yeah. I've got Elspeth back it back in the living. Yeah, this is her home plane. Ah, I see. Um more of those lands. Sewer crocodile. Nice. Uh Snooping Newbie Newsy, Body Dropper. Uh Celestial Regulator. Here we go. Call in a professional. Two in a red instant. Players can't gain life this turn. Damage can't be prevented this turn. Call in the professional deals three damage to any target. That's Shield really good. Counters do not prevent this damage they, as they are removed. Yeah, you still have. If, so if you deal damage to a creature that has a shield token, yeah. you normally would remo remove the shield token to stop it dying. Okay. Um, but, like, like Totem Armor. But that says no. Uh, this says. You can't use a shield token to save the creature, but you still have to remove the shield token. So it's still doing damage? It's still going to do the damage. Ah, I see. Oh! Oh, nice. And Quasar the Augur of Agonies in the nice art deco frame. 
So go back a video or two. This is a commander I did for Budget Brew, and I played it on Tuesday with a proxy, and it was really fun to play. And and now I have the real card in fancy art because I'm going to steal it from you. Are you? I am. Do you reckon? It's it's gone. It's over there now. Hey, put it back. On. Put <laughs> nope. it back. No, nope, it's put gone. It back. <laughs> Brass Knuckles, uh, when you cast this spell, copy it. Uh, quick Creature has double strike as long as two or more equipments are attached to it. So it's have two Brass Knuckles. That'd be good for Boo. Yeah. And then you've got uh, Tennessus Underdog. Tentious. It's the Underdog. Um, may it cast me a graveyard using its Blitz ability. Okay. So Blitz is two black black pay two life. If you cast this spell for Blitz cost, it gains haste and yeah, you may cast it from your graveyard using its Blitz ability. Ah, oh, so it's recurrable li uh, card draw and an attacker. Mm, oh, and lose two life so. Ah, uh, you don't care sometimes. That's pretty. That is nice. I'd like to see these in foil, but this is really nice. And then we have an Ogre Warrior. <laughs> oh, so it looks like human from where I was. I mean... Yeah, he's got the teeth and the ears and the beard. Maybe he's our fork. Oh, uh, maybe. <laughs> so, I don't think you can make a very good Jund deck, but you can make a very good Naya deck in this. <laughs> True. I, I, I'd force Jund. You'd force Jund, of course yeah, you would. Yeah, good Jund that. But, um, yeah, we're going to have fun with our pre-release now, and um, hopefully you have too. What guilds did you pick? How did you go? What did you pull? Anything special and fantastic? Uh, let us know in the comments. Otherwise, we're going to go off to uh, go back down and play with Cataclysm Games. Uh, good old Ray is arranging this so we can uh, play over the weekends, so check him out. And... Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and check the links below for all the Patreon, Discord, and buy a playmat um, that helps the channel. Thanks, everyone, and take care. Enjoy pre-release. Goodbye. Bye.